When I created Dirges in the Dark, I did so with the intention to set out to expose a Discord server that was a home of absolute degeneracy. Absolute. It did not end, and none were innocent. In this second part of episode 2, I'm happy to tell you that that was not the case. You see, after the first part had been released, one of them tried to get in contact with me, which was met with my mirthful derision, as I am typically known to do. However, as the thread continued, there was a statement made that had me double-checking the logs we archived. This claim was that this person, who had been posted in the document, had actually on multiple occasions been outspokenly against multiple things that were going on in that server. And after double-checking the logs, it turned out that this user was telling the truth. He had been outspokenly against multiple terrible things these people had been doing. And after looking over those a bit closer, I got into contact with him. This is the recording of that conversation. All right. So, this is a recorded conversation. Both of us know that this conversation is also being recorded. Um, this is between myself, Coyote Lovely, and Oxrus, uh, an individual who was part of the server that Jack Redplay was in, as well as Idago. Um, and there have been a couple of things that have sort of been brought to my attention more, and I've gone over some of the logs. I have a couple of questions, and there were a couple of things that I wanted to set the record straight on as well, uh, because after going through some specific logs more, um, it did bring up a couple of questions, but it also clarified a couple of things, and um, I guess this conversation is just to set the record straight on those things. Um, so uh, if there's anything yeah. you want to say right off the bat, um, feel free, and then we guess we can get into it. All right. Um, honestly, I'm just here to make sure that I don't get a whole lot of hate messages or have a call from my mum asking why all of these randos are messaging her because, like, she she doesn't need to be part of this. Um, uh, I, yeah. I I definitely I definitely agree that uh, your mother probably does not need to be part of this. Um, after looking over the logs, especially. Uh, while there are some questions that are in my mind, I do. There were some things that I definitely think it would be disingenuous if I didn't bring them forward right now, especially since we're halfway through part two and the document of all of the names has been released. And there are a couple of things I think that need to be sorted out before I finish that. Um, one thing I did want to mention right off the bat is that I've looked over the mm -hmm. vent logs and at the time where uh, Jack Redplay had apparently posted the or Jack Redplay, as well as a couple of other people, had posted the artwork of Shiloh Connor, uh, insinuating that Shiloh was going to be killed and raped after, you know, being killed. Um, <laughs> you actually were one of the people that I had noticed was very outspokenly against that action, and I do want to commend you for that. Uh, I think that's credit where it's due. That was a very, you know, good and straightforward thing to do. I think that was very upfront and, like, not upfront, I guess, but I think that was a very upstanding thing to do. I know it's difficult to, especially in when that is sort of the culture of the room, that is a difficult thing to sort of stand up and say, no, this is wrong. Yeah. So I definitely want to commend you for that. Um, I guess my question, though, is that one thing that I did notice, and I pointed this out in the YouTube comment chain that we had before this call, is that yeah. you you had posted several things. For the most part, it wasn't artwork, although there was some artwork posted, but it wasn't anything you know, two out of the ordinary for furries, um, in the feral mm -hmm. art section. My question is, I suppose, um, knowing that there were a lot of these chats in that server, I mean, it, when I first joined, I was able to see all of those things, and I joined for 15 minutes just to archive things. Um, yeah. I was able to see all of these chats. My question is, why were you willing to stay there for so long? Because based on the logs that I have, the earliest... I mean, at minimum, we have we've seen messages from you since May of last year, 2020, all the way up until January of this year, which you, you stated the reason you left was because somebody made a very disturbing comment about a victim of the Capitol riots. And I, I understand why that would drive you to leave. Most people would leave in that situation. My question is, why did you opt yeah. to stay there for so long? Um, to be honest, I'm not terribly active in my servers and... Well, in that particular server, it was mostly about free speech because I 
like having places where I don't immediately get dog piled. So it was nice to have a place where I could like voice my opinions without immediately being shut on. That said, it was just there was only so many channels that I could go into because most of them were just pretty full on and just just wrong. Just let's let's just say it out loud. It's just a vile server to be in, to be honest. Pretty glad that it's taken down now. Oh, uh, Adago's server has been taken down. Uh, as far as I can tell, yeah, it's no <coughs> longer online. Well, I'm actually really glad about that because after looking over the logs myself, um, yeah, uh, it's not a server that I was very thrilled to see existing. But, um, yeah, uh, yeah, definitely, I'm glad that it's uh, gone, and I can definitely understand why you may have wanted to be somewhere where that was very. Very free speech oriented. I can understand that. I know a lot of people are very tired of feeling like they can't voice their opinions. But um, I suppose my next question is, while you were there, did you, I suppose, even make a, con a consistent effort to look for other servers that were also free speech oriented so that you wouldn't need to stay in that server? Or was that just a server that you decided, I'm already here, fuck it, kind of thing? Um, A little bit of both, actually. Um. Like, I'm not super active in servers, so I generally don't leave a server unless, like, I feel really motivated to do so. So that speaks volumes about why I left. But um, for a little while, I did actively search for a different free speech server, and for a little time, I actually did get to find one. But, uh, well, it's I've left that too a while ago because it was just not active. And if you're not active in a server, what's the point in staying? I suppose that is true. Um, okay, uh, I suppose my next question after that is that um, you you knew who a lot of us, as far as the people who sort of came in that server and started archiving it, you knew of us and who we were. And the reason I, I'm going to phrase that is I believe you knew that. You knew who we were because we were very active on the whole Jack Red Play situation. We were very active in what, in trying to get all of that, you know, put out there. If you had a lot of these issues especially where you know he had posted that artwork how come you didn't make an active effort to reach out to any of us at the time because it would have it would have spoken a lot more towards y your belief that you know this is wrong this shouldn't be happening and you knew people you could have talked to at that point so my question is why didn't you um believe it or not i actually didn't know that you were there or i didn't even know which youtuber he was getting hate porn of so I wasn't really sure who to reach out to but it was just morally wrong and just generally gross for what he was doing um, I was actually in that server for because of Edargo and not because of Jack Redplay I don't think I ever really got along with Jack although you've probably got the proof to see if that's true or not my memory's not amazing as you can tell right um well, I, I did see that when you initially said this is that that was wrong, the artwork thing, there was a link directly to who that reply was to. So there, it, when you saw that, I... you, you would have seen exactly who the YouTuber was, and you would have also seen all the other people engaging in that conversation, such as myself, you know, Lyle Convoy's Reviews, a good friend of mine, and Shiloh Connor, who was the one that the artwork was created about, um, as well as several other YouTubers who talk about this sort of, these sorts of things, these sorts of situations. I mean, it... There, there were options very easily presented on who you could have reached out to, and I suppose the question does kind of still stand at that point because the links were present. I had they're in the chat logs. We can see the links themselves, and um, it would have been very easy to click on the link and see immediately who the reply is to. Oh. So it, there were people you, uh, it's almost impossible to believe that you couldn't have known. And I suppose the question at that point does kind of still stand. Yeah, that's fair. I. I'm sorry, I guess I just didn't see them or pay attention, and I really apologize for that. I, if I had, fucking hell, I'm so, it's hard to get the words out, you know? Um, no, I, I understand. Take your time. Yeah. If I, um, if I knew what I knew now, or was paying attention at the time, I definitely would have reached out. And, um, if I'm guess I'm sorry that I didn't, because that's just, yeah, I, 
Yeah, I should have. If I had seen the links, I definitely should have reached out to you guys, and I'm sorry that I didn't. All right. Well, um, personally, as far as I stand on a lot of this, after looking over a lot of the logs, I do genuinely believe that you are not one of the people who is a necropile on that server. Um, I think for the most part, you just, this is kind of my impression of events. So, um, you can take this for what you think it's worth. Everyone watching can take this for what they think it's worth. But my impression mm -hmm. of events is that you weren't a necrophile. You were somebody who just wanted a place that could, where you could speak and not have to feel like you had to censor yourself. Um, I feel like you didn't really, you saw it getting worse and you didn't think about potentially blowing the whistle towards when you could have. Uh, for the most part, hindsight's twenty twenty on that one. Um, yeah. What I'm going to wind up doing, uh, I'm going to request that from the document of all the people who are in the server, your information mm -hmm. be removed. However, we are going to keep that information like accessible to us, because that way, well, I do believe you, we're going to keep that information, mm -hmm. because if we see you somewhere else, you know, one time is an accident. The second time, though, that's on purpose. So if we see you... It's not mm -hmm. going to be, we're not going to cover, you don't get an out that the next time on that one. Because I believe you right now. But if I see you again in some other server like this, it's it's not the same thing at that point. Because at that point, you've had fair warning, you know all the things you should be doing on that one, and you made a conscious choice. So that's, that's where I'm going to be going with this. Is that something that you find acceptable? Uh, yeah, I do. I mean... I genuinely don't think I'm ever going to go into another necro server again, or at least not knowingly. But um, taking my stuff out of the public eye, but keeping it for yourself, I suppose I can accept that. All right. Um, also, you have me added here on Discord. My advice, if you wind up accidentally joining another server that is based around zoophilia, pedophilia, necrophilia, send me the information because that's the kind of stuff that I look into. Um, and immediately mm -hmm. just get yourself out of that situation. That's my best advice on that one. So uh, you have my contact information here on Discord, and I suppose that would be the best place to leave that one. Um, like I said, I'm going to ask to have all of that information taken off of the Google Doc. We're going to keep that accessible to ourselves, and but mm -hmm. never publish it unless something like this happens again. So that's, that's where we're going to go with this. Yeah, I think that's okay. Thanks. All right. I'll be, well, yeah. I'm definitely glad that we had this conversation to clear things up. Uh, I will be publishing this, like I said, just for posterity's sake, as well as that way mm -hmm. anyone who's already looked at the document as and anyone who were to look in the document in the future, based on like the initial parts that have already come out or the parts that will come out, they will be aware of this information because your, your name has already come up in the first episode as well when I was reading off some of the messages. So uh, this is yeah. important to make sure that people are aware and that this information is it's, it's out there that you were not part of any of that uh, and you were just somebody who was caught up in a bad place. So, Yeah, that's fair. Um, thanks for that. Um, I honestly found Edago because there was a lot of Twitter drama about it last year and um, I found his fair fantasy and um well after a few exchanges with him from there i just kind of clicked on his server to see what was going on and uh well i guess we know what happens from there yeah yeah we do unfortunately um but you know he was the one saying in his server that uh that he wanted this and that he was going to antagonize all of us to keep it going and i i guess be careful what you wish for ed because this is where <laughs> Now your fur affinity's gone, now your fucking server's gone, your Twitter's gone, because I took it further than you thought I was going to. So that that's let that be a warning pe to people like Adago. I will always go further than you are ready for me to go. <laughs> yeah, that's probably a good advice. Like, it's fun if you're into kinky shit, but there are some things that you should probably not accept. There is a red line where you just don't cross. Right, right. Well... This, like I said at the beginning, this has been a conversation with Oxrus uh, from the server. And again, for everybody watching, I'm going to stress this one more time. He is not a necrophile. He was just caught up in a really bad situation. And like I said, don't don't send any harassment his way. Don't send any harassment, for the love of God, to his mother's way. Um, don't send any harassment in his direction. Um, and for the most part, I think that's kind of going to do it. Is there anything you wanted to say before we sign off here? Uh, fuck Jack, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> that's fair enough. Anyway, that's going to do it, and I will catch you guys later.
I'm sure many of you are going to want to see some form of logs that verify he actually took a stand against most of these actions, and I wouldn't expect anything less. So, I'll read off a couple of logs that show that he was outspokenly against many of the actions that took place in that server. This is where Jack Redblay posts the links. Oxrus, if you did that, you really need to fucking stop. Nopalopolis, bro, he did do it. He even posted it on this server and said, oh yeah, I'm going to get more of this stuff, except this time with her and her girlfriend. Oxorus, what the fuck, that's fucked up. Not gonna lie, if he's doing that kind of shit, I hope he gets what's coming to him, cause it's not okay. Nopalopolis, on another server I was on, Jack was really pissed off at somebody for calling him out on Twitter or YouTube, and wanted to get revenge art slash porn of him slash her, but at the time we talked him out of it, because we told him it wasn't worth it, and it was also a really bad slash fucked up idea. I don't know if this is the same person or a different one, but this wasn't the first time he thought about that. Oxorus. Either way, snuff art without someone's consent is fucked. Looney. We are talking about Jack because your morals are already fucked if you think fucking a corpse is good. I get it's not real, still fucked up, so fuck your morals. Dude, has this dude ever heard of basic punctuation? Jesus shit, dude. Nopalopolis. May I remind you that Jack refused to accept the blame slash own up to his actions and pointed the finger at our friend Ed, and the SJWs were about to light a fire under his ass. Oxorus. Yeah, Necro isn't my thing, and after last night, I think I am permanently opposed to it. But that was just disgusting, evil fantasy. Taking someone's character without their permission and violating them like this? No, that is not okay and I will not even pretend to tolerate it. There's no rules in this server, and as such, I won't even humor this kind of action. It's disgusting and wrong. We'll fast forward a little bit, just to skip over some of the filler. Jack Redplay, I'm already leaving the snuff community as a whole. Nopalopolis, those other wackos are. Oxorus, are you now? So why are you saying that you're gonna get more non-consensual art of other people's characters if you're leaving it? Jack Redplay, I didn't say that. Oxorus, oh really? Jack Redplay, January 1st, 2021. A little snap will shut them up, and I plan on snuffing them again with their girlfriend this time. Jack Redplay, no more. Oxorus, I don't like being lied to, Jack. Looney, and I don't like when people are telling him to kill himself over this. I'm not saying you are, I'm just frustrated. Sorry for getting mad. Oxorus, I don't believe anyone in here has asked him to kill himself. He doesn't deserve that kind of action, but what he is doing is wrong. I always say what I believe is the truth, so do me a favor and don't fucking lie to me. Just read the tweet and the replies to said tweet. No one over there said anything about Jack killing himself either. Looney. Wait, I read the wrong tweet, fuck. Legion. This is just chaotic situation. Looney. I kinda got lost in Twitter looking up his name. Oxorus. Yeah, I know exactly where I am resting the blame. Sorry, Looney, but my ire is focused squarely on Jack. So far, I haven't seen a whole lot wrong with how other people are reacting, but what Jack is doing is beyond fucked up. It's bad enough to steal people's characters to make murder porn of them, but then to deflect blame and lie your ass off to escape the wrath of everyone you pissed off? No, fuck that and fuck him. Quick fast forward again. Oxorus. Hate to say it, but um... They sound like they've got more of a point than you do. Jack Redplay. No, they don't. Oxorus. You don't get to decide if they have a point or not, Jack. Looney. He's saying sorry, but I guess that isn't allowed because fuck you. And he's sorry for taking it the wrong way, apparently. That's victim blaming. Oxorus. He's allowed to say sorry, but he didn't say sorry right. Shiloh. Dude, that's a rape threat. Jack. No, it's not. You just took it the wrong way because of your trauma. That's not an apology. Reminds me of Rick and Morty. I'm sorry that you think you deserve an apology. Legion. So from an outside point of view reading this, we have a case of too many words were used when only one or two were needed. Looney. 
perhaps. Executioner, aka Psycho333, looked like an apology to me. At Jack Redplay is in the clear as far as I'm concerned. Shiloh is full of shit. Jack Redplay, shut. You're just saying that because you are my friend. Executioner, aka Psycho333, I am saying that because it's the truth. You apologized. If they don't accept it, it's on them. Oxorus, side eye. Executioner, aka Psycho333, not you. Oxorus, smash a plate and say sorry. Tell me if the plate magically unshatters. Executioner, aka Psycho333, usually it takes a twisted egotist to demand more apologies. They want you to beg, never beg at Jack Redplay, especially you and especially to someone like Shiloh. Legion, going to work, but as a point for now, this situation is fucked sideways and probably should be stopped because, damn. Oxorus, he stole their character and murdered it, then threatened to do the same to their girlfriend. He lied to them and then gave them a backhanded apology and you're siding with him? For fuck's sake. Executioner, aka Psycho333. By the way, I already decided to never get commissions from Crow. I'd love to get free art of my OC. That shit's a blessing. Oxorus. Uh, face palm uh, mail symbol? Okay, I don't know what that means, but. Um, okay, I think I ha I've had enough of this server today. Bye. After reading many of the logs that I've read to you, as well as speaking to several of my peers and having the recorded conversation that I have, I've come to the conclusion that this individual is not a necrophile. They're not a zoophile. They're somebody who was caught in the wrong place at the wrong time, and he should not be branded as either a necrophile or a zoophile when that is simply what the case was. I understand some of you may disagree with that assessment. In fact, some of my peers may even disagree with that assessment. However, this is the conclusion that I have come to based off of the information that I have accessible. And if I genuinely believe this man is not a necrophile or a zoophile, I cannot in good conscience permit his information to stay on that Google Doc. So I have since temporarily removed the link from the previous episode. It will be put back on there once it's been updated, and I have requested the owner of the Google Doc remove his information from it, as I promised I would in the recording. Moreover, since looking at all of this and learning everything that I have, I've gone over the logs even further, and I was hoping to find more people that I could hopefully make these kinds of claims for, that they were just in the wrong place at the wrong time, that they weren't complicit, that they didn't look the other way intentionally, that they had stood up and said something when it counted. And unfortunately, he was the only person. So, in part three, which will be coming out next, we'll be diving into the server proper. We'll be going over the logs, we'll be talking about every one of the members as they come up in the logs, and we'll be getting into the meat of what this series has been building to. I don't know how many parts will be coming next. Every part after this one will be more and more of the server itself and every part will have a link to the Google Drive that has all of the server logged on it. So for those of you watching, I'll catch you later. And for those of you in the Necrophile server, or who were previously in the Necrophile server who are watching, which I have it confirmed that some of you are, well, I'll be seeing you soon.